Hello, this is question two on CSM's mock midterm one for 61B. So we're going to walk through this question called what would Java do, multi-generational. If we look at the question, it says child wants to access one of grandparents' meth grandparents methods, but he is too young and naive and wrote incorrect code. Find the error and modify the error so that child can correctly print all three statements. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to look through all these classes that are stated and then I'm going to go down and look at what the expected output is. So here we have a class called grandparent that has a print method which will print I'm a grandparent. The second class here is called parent and ex extends grandparent. Print method here also prints out I'm a parent. So this overrides the initial method here. Child extends parent and has a print method in here, which calls super dot super print and then prints out I'm a child. So in the main method here, we're creating a child object, an instance of a child object, and then we're calling the print method. So our expected output is the three print statements, I'm a grandparent. I'm a parent and I'm a child. So right now, if we call c.print, we're going into this child method, which extends the parent class, which extends the grandparent class. And we're calling super.superprint. Now, the reason that this is incorrect is because in Java, you can only refer to a method in the parent class. You cannot refer further above that. So here, we're trying to refer to the grandparents class, which isn't possible. So this is actually a compiler error, where this is erroring because of the double super. So to fix this, what we're gonna do is instead of trying to access the grandparents print class here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and think about what I do to mimic that, but just referring to parent classes. So a way that we can do that, for example, is within the parent method, we can call, Let's make, well, let's make it blue. Super dot print. So we're calling. Oh, is that going to move? Okay. So we're calling super dot print here. And then what I'm doing now is that I'm going to edit this line of code here. And remove that double super so that it's only calling one instance of super. So the thought process behind this is that when we call c.print now, what it'll do is it'll call the it'll call the print method here, which will call the print method in the parent class, which will call the print method in the grandparent class. So it's going up one level at a time. So what should happen is eventually we should print out, I'm a grandparent, I'm a parent, and I'm a child. 